<laughs> What's the secret to 32 years of marriage? He's afraid to say. Look at him. Talk to her. Do what she says. Do what she says right? Friends of mine were having trouble uh, communication, right? That's key. They were having trouble talking to each other face to face. So they went to a therapist, and the therapist said, if you can't talk to each other face to face, then use stuffed animals. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> What's that? You're about to have a big fight. Come on, honey, we're going to build a bear. <laughs> With all the crazy travel and hotel headaches and insane bookers and other rude and crazy people in this business, I've really only lost my temper a few times. And one of those was at a parking lot manager at the LAX Hilton. Yeah, it's only a few blocks away from LAX, and I'd parked there for years with no problems until one day. I'd been gone for a couple weeks when I got back to the parking lot and started looking for my car. The lot wasn't very big. You could walk a full circle around it in about 15 minutes. It was a December afternoon, and it was about 90 degrees. The shuttle would drop you off at the hotel entrance. Then you'd have to walk down some steps and over to the lot to get your car. So I walked around the lot once. No car. I was confused. I thought, you know, I know where I parked. I did a second time around. No car. <laughs> I was getting panicky. I had self-parked and the lot, like I said, wasn't that big. And while it did have a gate, I started thinking that it might be kind of easy for someone to just drive out without paying. After my third trip around in the sweltering heat, dragging my bags with me and still no car, I got really upset. I was pouring sweat too and I looked like hell. I went racing back up the steps, lugging my luggage to the front of the hotel where I found the bellman. I asked him about my car. He said, well, maybe it's in the other lot. I said, no, I know what lot I parked in. He said he'd check anyway. After a few minutes, he came back. No car. <laughs> now I was in full-blown panic. Just as I was about to call the cops, the manager walked out. He asked what was going on. I told him. Then he said, follow him. He'd look around the lot. I did, and yeah, after another trip around the lot, still no car. Then he said very nonchalantly, Oh, we must have moved your car. I was like, what? You couldn't have done that, because I have the keys, and the brakes are on. What the hell did you do? He said that they got paid by a movie crew to do a shoot in their parking lot, so they moved all the cars. I was furious. He said they have the right to do it. Well, where's my car? After more looking, he finally found it in the Hertz rental car lot next door. That's when I began screaming and yelling about what a horrible thing that was to do to me and how I'd spent the last hour looking for it and was scared to death that it was stolen and why couldn't they just put a big-ass sign with a shuttle driver saying that our car might have been moved. I followed him back up to the front of the hotel as I was screaming. Yeah, there were guests checking in, and they were getting a great show. <laughs> it was just an awful scene, though. Now, I'm screaming and shaking. I was so mad. The guy just kept saying, we have the right to do that. Finally, to shut me up and get me out of there, they refunded all of my parking money for the two weeks. But it was just an awful experience. The takeaway from this is, don't screw over your current loyal customers to make room for your once-in-a-while customers. That was 10 years ago, and I haven't parked there since. I'm sure they made more money off the movie shoot that day than they would have for my 10 years of parking fees, but I wonder how many other people they screwed over by moving their cars, and they've probably gotten some bad will and bad word of mouth because they did that to a bunch of people. They probably lost money. In these times, you may have opportunities to ditch loyal clients and go for one-shot deals. Don't do that. It will come back to haunt you. That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Feel free to check out my website, theworklady.com. This is Jan. Take care and enjoy your journey.